Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to talk about disassembling cheap action cameras for modification. So, I tell you, you know, I've done a number of these cameras for different purposes, and it's just a lot of fun, and it's relatively easy if you know how to go about it. And that's what I'm going to set up for you guys here today, is, is how do you go about making some mods to one of these cheap cameras. Now, you can get these cameras pretty cheap off of eBay and Amazon, sub 30 bucks, and I think I paid like 22 bucks for this one here. It's a 1080p camera with Wi-Fi, and, and, and it's a good knockaround camera, and especially if you're into droning, you know, you want to have something set up. Um, you know, that's not expensive if you lose it and you want to be able to make mods to it. So here we go. So I'm going to kind of walk you guys through how to take one apart. And, and so I've already got this one disassembled, but one of the things I found is they pretty much all come apart the same way or pretty much designed similar fashion. And so to start the uh, removal process, what you want to do is remove the front bezel first. Now, this is actually only attached with four little clips. Uh, here, here, and here on the front. And basically what you can do is you can take a small regular screwdriver, or if you're very careful, uh, an X-Acto knife, and work it in under the front edge, because this just pops on here. Work it in under the front edge, and this will just pop right off. And then once you do that, what you'll see exposed is this front cover here that we have here. This will sit over the front, and you'll typically have uh, another bezel type uh, uh, piece that sits over and the lens sits in there. And again, you just work a regular screwdriver under this and you'll notice it's got three tabs. It simply pops off. Done deal. Now you remove the screws. It has a number of very small screws. And small Phillips screwdriver does quick work. Or if you have one of these numbers, and I'll have the link below, works out even quicker so uh, you simply pull those screws out and have a little cup to put them in over here once you do that it'll expose this assembly underneath now typically the battery bay is sitting on top so you'll remove it with the battery bay still attached because the screws actually come from underneath now the piece here is to remove this uh, from the case what you'll need to do is actually separate it from the LCD screen. And this is what gets a little bit confusing. And the way that the LCD screen sits is that its bezel simply glues to the back of this. And it sits on these tabs. So only glue holds this in. So take an X-Acto knife, and especially around the thick edges here. You see the thick edge? Work it underneath there. And... Uh, pop it up a little bit so you can get your regular screwdriver underneath it and this will just pop up exposing this ribbon cable and then on the back there's this connector and you just simply move this ribbon uh, the connector forward and boom you can pop this out and then this assembly just lifts off and then with about three or four screws this battery bay comes off very simple similar thing with the sensor again this one uh, even though it has holes, it was actually only, um, you know, tacked down with some kind of tape or something. Uh, sits in there the same way, and you just pop this forward, and boom, the sensor comes out. Now you may be saying, Joe, why do I want to make modifications to a cheap webcam or uh, action cam? And glad you ask. And the piece is, it's really interesting, because let's talk about a few things here. So here we have the 2.4 gigahertz antenna. So maybe you want to make a poor man's Wi-Fi setup and replace this with an SMA connector and a better antenna. Perfect opportunity. Pop this apart. Put a hole in here. Uh, run, the co run this coax out or insert an SMA connector in here. There's actually a fair amount of room in most of these cameras to do things like this. The other thing is the mic. We have this cheesy mic here. So maybe you want to create... Um, you know, a vlogging rig, you know, like when I go out and I'm, I'm vlogging with, you know, the drones and I have the hand cam and stuff, um, you can modify it to put a jack here to put a regular microphone. Same thing with the speaker over here. So this small piece over here is the speaker. So you could actually have an audio jack for audio in and out and have some sort of headset, which you could hear the audio and then also record your voice on it. So tons of modifications that you could do, or you could have it record the audio, the drone, one half dozen of the different things. But the big thing is, is there's just a lot of opportunity with these cheap webcams for sub 30 bucks. And, you know, I've even seen them on, on Banggood, on specials and, and uh, other places for like 14 dollars 
you know, and you pick up some, some of them, and again, you can have a lot of fun with these, you know, making 360 cameras and all that kind of stuff. But again, uh, as I mentioned, most of them come apart in the same fashion. The back uh, LCDs usually just glued on. The bezel is just glued on with some light tack glue. Uh, the front bezel is just pop on with these tabs. I've taken a number of them apart. And then um, usually you have an assembly, this one here, that really holds everything sort of together. Um, and it holds it together as a center package inside here. And the camera actually sort of floats in here a, a bit um, because this front bezel is holding it in forward in this glued-in LCD, which sits against these tabs down here, hold it from the back. Um, so it can't go out the back because of these tabs, but it can't go out the front because of this. So it just kind of floats in there. So it's kind of an interesting little design. So not that hard to take apart. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. If you're, you know, interested in modifying a, um, action cam, it's actually really easy to do. And again, hopefully with these steps, you kind of understand how it works and you'll be successful at it. So, hey, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.